What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we're doing a $35,000 workstation PC build. You guys might have remembered that I did a $33,000 build in the past. That one's becoming a little bit outdated so I thought I'd make one for the summer of 2014 for all the people out there who need ideas for their workstation setups that they are purchasing very soon. So without further ado, let's get into this build. So first off, we have the Xenon E5 processors. We have two of them. They're 12 cores each, 30 megabytes of cache each. This is gonna give you a lot of processing power and will handle anything you throw at it. For the motherboard, we need a motherboard that can handle both of the CPUs and at the same time can also handle a couple graphics cards, some extra RAM, and also some PCI SSDs. So this is a pretty good board for all of that stuff. For the memory, we're just going to go with the Corsair Vengeance Pro memory. We're going to go with 32 gigabytes of it at 3000 megahertz each. This is going to give you really good speed for rendering and overall will handle any sort of workstation applications. For the graphics cards, we're going to go with two Tesla K40s. I mean, you can go with one if you want, but to get the ultimate performance, you're going to want to go with two of these things. It'll give you the ability to really handle anything you throw at it. For the SSDs, we're going to go with two of these 910 series PCI SSDs. These are the top of the line in terms of performance. They're 800 gigabytes each and you get 2 gigabyte read speeds and 1 gigabyte write speeds. For the hard drive storage, we're going to go with 12 6 terabyte hard drives, adding up to 72 terabyte hard drive storage. Uh, the point of this is basically to allow yourself to back up uh, multiple times over and get lots of storage while doing it. For the power supply, we're going to go with the Corsair AX1500i. This is fully modular. It has a very, very high certification of platinum. It'll pretty much handle any amount of power uh, consumption you throw at it, and it's very stable. And last but not least, for the case, we're going to go with this Cooler Master Cosmos 2. I usually go with the 900D, but this is actually a really cool super tower case that actually uh, supports server motherboards, so that's why we're going with this instead. So that is pretty much it. That is the $35,000 workstation PC. This thing is more updated for the current time we live in. Um, it has the E5 processors instead of the lower end 3970Xs and 4970Xs. Um, it also has a lot of memory that's very high speed, two graphics cards that could really pretty much handle any sort of workstation application in the world on multiple displays and it's really incredible what those things can do. Uh, lots of solid state storage and hard drive storage, a total of over 74 terabytes. And last but not least, the great power supply and the awesome case. So if you guys enjoy this workstation PC, go ahead and leave a like and comment and recommend future builds that I could do down the road. And I'll see you guys next time.